Welcome to Stronghold Climbing Center. This video will guide you through your first visit to the center and will give you more information about how to safely climb here. Your first point of call upon entering the center is the reception, where you'll be greeted by a member of the team. If you've not climbed here before, you'll be required to fill out a registration form after watching this video. This will take just a few minutes. Staff will be able to help if anything is unclear. Once registered, you'll be on our system and simply need to check in at reception each time you arrive. In order to climb, you'll need to get a pair of climbing shoes and a chalk bag. These can be hired from the front desk. We advise you put your belongings in a locker to keep them safe and out of the way. Please don't leave your belongings on the mats or in the climbing areas. This is a trip hazard and also blocks the landing zone for other climbers in the vicinity. Before you begin climbing, it's important to prepare your muscles. Climbing can put your tendons and ligaments under a lot of strain, so it's vital that you are warmed up. It's good to raise your heart rate a little and use dynamic stretches. When you move around the wall, be aware of other climbers. Try to stay out of their landing zones. If they fall and you are in the way, you risk injury to both them and yourself. Before you begin to climb here at Stronghold, familiarize yourself with the root grades. You can find signs dotted around the center which will tell you how easy or difficult each of the problems are. The easiest route is orange, which is VB. The routes increase from VB to V0 to 1 and continue upwards to the hardest, which is black, V6 to V8+. A bouldering problem is started on the first tagged hold. You can use all the holes in that color to climb until you reach the top. To finish the problem, put both hands on the last hold. In order to get down safely, you should use any of the holes and climb back down. If you are finding it difficult to climb down and feel like you are going to fall, try to do so in a controlled manner. Make sure there is nobody standing underneath you. When landing on the mat, bend both your knees and if necessary, roll backwards gently to limit the impact. Although the matting is there to soften your landing, it won't prevent injury. You should never start a bouldering problem if there is already someone climbing it or another route which crosses over the same path. The climber who is already on the wall has right of way. Instead, wait for them to climb down before you begin. If you do become injured while climbing in the center, then please inform a member of staff who will be able to assist you. If you are able to, move away from the climbing area to reduce further risk of injury. When you are climbing on the wall, although it's extremely rare, you may come across a spinning hold. If this happens, please report this to a member of staff straight away and we will ensure the hold is fixed. Once you have started climbing here, you might decide that you want to improve your technique or maybe you'd just like to meet fellow climbers. Taking one of our coaching sessions is a great way to do this. Speak to a member of staff about how to book. Thanks for watching this and we hope you enjoy climbing at Stronghold.